Okay, so I've got my Mod Podge out, so I'm going to go ahead and start prepping this gift bag to go on this cup that I have prepped pink. Um, I want to cut a line under here. Um, because there's kind of a fold there where this is gusseted. And that's where I want my cut, so I have a little bit of the bottom of the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and try to deconstruct the bag a bit. Without destroying it. I'm going to get my cutting mat up here. Okay. So. Sorry about that. So this one I can line up on this bottom white edge. And hopefully get a pretty clean line. I'm going to try and go through both layers of this bag at once. Um because I can use the other half for another another um, cup at some point down the road if I chose to. close to the top of that we get. So I've got a little more room to trim here and there, but I can basically just cut right below that to start. And I'll probably keep this ribbon because you never know. Could come in for handy for something someday. Keep everything. All right. So this is not going to be square at all right now. So I'm going to trim a little bit off. I think. Think. So I've got just the tiniest bit of overlap and I meet up pretty well, so I am good with that <clears throat> for my fit. So I'm going to get my mat back out of the way because I don't want to get Mod Podge on it. And grab my Mod Podge and my brush. I've just been wrapping it in a glove so it stays moist because I'm doing several of the Mod Podge cups in a row all at once. It's just easier when I come into coat to do a coat on all of them at the same time. Okay, I think we're good. That was strange. So I'm going to start from the center, I think, on this one. So, I think we're going to end up having to come in with the edge trimmer on this one after we dry our first coat. No, see, I'm not doing that. I don't like that.
How? How am I still that off? See, look at that. You know how we're going to fix that? Pinstripes. Alright, so we're going to let this coat dry. We're going to trim it up so it's even. Actually, I don't know if I should let it dry or trim it right now. <clears throat> it's going to be harder to peel the paper if I let it dry all the way. So we're going to go ahead and edge trim right now. Get my trimmer. Well, that went well. I couldn't find my little tool for this, which should be in the box. But I don't even know if I set it the way I need it. So we'll find out. There. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, I think I'm gonna go ahead and Mod Podge it now, actually, because that's pretty dry already. I will probably get, and I'm going to keep poking these down as it starts to set up so this edge will stay flat. But I'm going to go ahead and get my three coats of Mod Podge on after this one dries. And then I'm going to get a coat of resin on it with probably touch of rose in it. And then I will come back in and get my decal on. This is screaming for some kind of cute mom decal. And I will do my pinstriping when I do my decal. And then we'll get one more coat of resin on it after that so there that's my plan do you ever have a decal that you caught and you're like why'd I do that to myself well I just did that with this one again um, and I layered it badly but I don't care I'm not recutting it um, I wanted to pull in some of the lavender from this cup because it's got a little bits of purple around it here and there so um, plus I wanted to like liven it up a little bit I guess um, and I forgot that I wanted to pinstripe it so I decided I'm going to pinstripe it with the colors from the decal and I have little pieces of this decal all over my hands but I'm going to go ahead and decal it first <clears throat> so it just says super mom And trying to decide. I'm going to end up covering that lavender that I wanted to accentuate with the decal. So, whatever. I just wanted it to have a little pop of a brighter color, and it's got the brighter pink in it. And like I said, it's got hints of lavender here and there, so that's what I wanted to do. And I did. I just covered all that lavender up there, but whatever. So, <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinstripe the top, the pink, and the bottom, the pink. And then I'm going to do around this in the lavender to even it out.
I think more pink is going to be the fix for that. It's fine. It's fine. I go right along the edge of that purple. There. So I am much happier with that. And that pulls some of that color down. So we are going to get this over and get a coat of epoxy on it and that'll be it okay I am ready for epoxy on this one I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the touch of rose in it again I did in that first coat just to sparkle the rest of it up and I do have another cup down the line that just needs a light coat so also with the touch of rose so if I have too much mixed it's fine I can just go put the final coat on that one so no big deal there and I'm actually using my FX premium ultra UV for this one I pulled that back out because that's always worked well for me in the past the problem with that one is that is the one that I sometimes have an allergic reaction to. So, um, I've used it a couple times now, though, and I seem to be okay. I haven't touched my wrist with it at all, which is generally where I have an issue. That and itchy eyes, but um, it's literally snowing pollen, so I wouldn't know if I had an itchy eye from pollen or epoxy. So, here we go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I did clean up this rim a little bit. I didn't take it all the way back. I just took the top layer of epoxy off quick um, and then sanded a tiny silver ring. I didn't want to hit it with my flap wheel because... It did have that adhesive underneath and sometimes that gets gummy and will pull more than you'd like. So I just hit it with my edge trimmer and then hand sanded the edge a little bit just for a good grip. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up to show you because I don't want to take this glove off. Um, the colors aren't showing super true on my camera. I think I need to clean my lens. But this cup is really pretty. The bottom. And I did forget to touch up that little nick spot. Just totally forgot. So... It does have one little tiny sliver of stainless showing, but you can see where I took that edge down. You can see the little bit of silver and you can actually see the line where I cleaned up with my edge trimmer. So that'll have a really good seal after this coat and probably one more thin clear coat. But that is it for this one. Dollar Tree gift bag on a tumbler.